starts off at this extreme underground dance battle. All the gangsters in the city are coming together and doing a You Got Served type of event. This is a fake ass You Got Served, basically. Chris Brown is here and he says he's scared to battle or something. He don't want to diss all these gangsters in their own turf. Where did this stereotype even come from? It's always some type of black market dancing warehouse battle. Was that ever a thing? Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. I don't think that's a real thing. I don't want to diss them in front of their home crowd. I don't. Hey, I got you. Bro, this song is awful, man. What the fuck? How are we all dancing to this right now? This just sound like a computer virus. Chris Brown and his brother DJ defeat the bad guys. The thug unit is what they call themselves. They the thug unit. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> the main thug from the thug unit wants to go double or nothing. Chris Brown acting real scary again, but DJ pressures him into it. Thug units. This nigga has a teardrop tattoo and he's doing crump dances with his homies. Heavily choreographed crump dances. All right, bro. I don't think that's a real thing. I got it, y'all. Double or nothing says you got lucky. Chris Brown carries the whole team to victory by himself. This nigga is an amazing dancer, bro. It's unbelievable. No bullshit. These other niggas are trash. They holding him back, Loki. I'm telling you, man. I'm taking over LA. Alright, alright. That's what's up. Yes, man. Nigga, where'd you get this can of spray paint from? There's nothing right here on the ground, I don't think. Did you get this shit off the trash can, bro? Where did you find this shit? It's the exact right color, too, that you needed. All right. They all leave in the crumping warehouse, and the thug unit ends up sliding on them in the alleyway. They all have this Def Jam vendetta-ass fight scene now. That's what it looks like, Loki. Chris Brown is expensive as hell to put in a movie, so he gets shots, and he not in the movie no more. Damn, imagine getting shot over a crumping battle. That's sad. Sad crump movie. Ah, really miss my nigga. After that traumatic incident, DJ moves in with his auntie and uncle in Atlanta. They make him go to college or a job corps or something while he's there. This whole college boy thing is not for me, man. So you better make this college boy thing work out. Can you appreciate that? Why'd you even have to move here in the first place? Was Chris Brown raising you the whole time? What happened to your parents, bro? Nah, they sent him here to stay out of trouble. That makes sense. They don't get into it much. Who's paying for this shit? Whatever. It's his first day of school now at Truthy University. Is that what it's called, bro? That sounds like some flat earth shit. This unaccredited ass school. Also, you not Chris Brown, my nigga. I'ma just say it. What's going on here? They catfished the hell out of people back in the day. This shit is supposed to be about Chris Brown, right? He sees Megan Good fine ass walking through the hallways and he's chasing her around the school or something. Do you know her, bro? Why are you following her everywhere? He just really likes her and he want to holler at her? You got to relax, bro. This is just like Nick Cannon and Drumline low key. He trying to marry the first girl he sees. Remember that? Generic college movie, I guess. They all the same, really. <laughs> What are they doing, man? They're stomping the yard. The seven year champs are here! Seven year champs? Y'all niggas been here for seven years? Oh, nah. No wonder everybody look 35 years old. No, I know what they mean. I'm just playing. These old ass niggas.
Ew, this ugly ass sandwich. And why the fuck is he eating this shit like that? He didn't chew it at all. Like, look at him. He just bit it and swallowed some water like a pill. Y'all know how we do it every week at the Phoenix Gifford Club, Miami. Move your body to the right, girl. Move your body to the left, run it up. I'm just adding a little flavor. Now you keep yourself looking this fine, you ain't never got a word. No, you don't deserve that. Really, Grant is not someone you want to mess with. Well, somebody's gonna have to bring him down a notch. Oh, that's loud. It's so loud. Don't hurt him, Grant. Don't hurt him. Oh, snap. Is he cloudy, St. Louis? Is he cloudy? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> PJ takes a break from stomping the yard to do his work study job mowing the yard. He gets approached by the bad guy team and they want him to come and crump for them full time. Mew Gamma Xi has the strongest alumni network, period. On step, man. Pussies. Step. Mm. DJ tricks Megan Good into being his history tutor somehow. This shit is creepy, bro. It's really how they portrayed romance back in the day. It was like a sex pest that's not romantic. Yeah, I'd like to sign up for a tutor. What subject does April Palmer do? Mm, history. History it is. How does a nice young girl like yourself know about a place like this? We're gonna take five. We'll be right back. There's a lot of things about me you don't know. These niggas are a freshman, bro. Why did they serve him alcohol? That's hella illegal. DJ decides to get serious about his crumping now. He goes to the Crump Museum and he sees all the famous crumpers of the world. He gets inspired and now he's finally gonna do some dancing. It took him long enough. The movie is halfway over. He's barely been dancing this whole time. Bro, I'm really about to get your pickle chin, that boy. Hey, go ahead, call me, yeah, that boy. This episode of Princess Cinema is sponsored by HelloFresh. How's all them New Year's resolutions going? You ain't do none of it, did you? I ain't even mad at you either, because I already knew that. If you're trying to eat better, HelloFresh is here to help by delivering fresh ingredients and easy recipes right to your door. You can skip all the grocery store lines. That's for old people. You can cut back on that expensive takeout food to save yourself some money. No matter what your lifestyle or meal preference is, HelloFresh has recipes that are sure to please everyone at the table. They got their new fast and fresh recipes, robust flavors and filling portions ready in less than 15 minutes. All your HelloFresh boxes come with pre-portioned ingredients and easy to follow recipe cards. Even my dumbass can figure it out. I'm a good cook now. I like getting a box of food right to my front door. It's hella convenient. Now, if I ever got to do a grocery trip, it's a small one and I'll be chilling. Right now, you can get 65% off and free shipping if you go to HelloFresh.com slash Prim65. Again, it's HelloFresh.com slash Prim65. It's America's number one meal kit. Thanks, HelloFresh, for sponsoring. Let's get back to the stomping. He goes back to his giant ass dorm room now. Look at this massive dorm room. Who is even paying for this? His uncle? His uncle like a handyman or something. He ain't got it like that, do he? Are you on a scholarship? This nigga on a crumping scholarship. DJ asks his roommate Neo to help him get into this frat. Neo's in the movie, by the way. Forgot to mention that. He a comic relief type of homeboy. He not funny though. He all star though. He a great singer. He not funny though. My toothbrush, my toothpaste, and my condoms. Magnum, of course. You know, you know about the gold packs. Yeah. Go in the house. DJ goes in to join the frats. They drag him into some secret room and they do weird stuff to his butt. You know how it goes. Fraternity niggas be so sus, bro. It's not even worth it. Why do you attack each other's butts? What do you gain from that? Do they all do that? Anyway, he has a montage and now he's in the fraternity, I guess. Just off one montage. It was very quick. 
This nigga never goes to class, by the way. We haven't seen him in class at all so far. Maybe for like one second. What are you doing here? What is your major, bro? Crumping? Job, extra gravy. Turn and get your roof stomped out. Old school dance doors open me and my crew. Some uh, stoners we get high like Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Get on your head like a shower from the gravel with a scallop. We gonna be going south. Bro, this whack ass Dr. Eggman type beat. They keep playing the same ass song. Rugrats in Paris type beat. Some stoners we get high like Shaggy from Scooby Doo. I'm whiskey. Okay, I gotta admit. The stepping is hella boring to watch, Loki. I would much rather watch some traditional crump dancing like in the beginning. Lucky for me, DJ teaches all his frat homies how to do a crumping, stomping type of fusion. It's pretty boring though still. I miss Chris Brown. Uh, so stoners, we get hot like Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Also, it turns out Megan Good is the Dean's daughter or something actually. Hella cliche, you didn't need that. The Dean and DJ's uncle apparently have some beef from years ago. The uncle stole the Dean's girlfriend, basically. You didn't need this either. The Dean doesn't want DJ to date his daughter though because of all that. So now everybody's sad, everything going wrong. The evil bad guy team sends their friend Brittany Griner into the pool to secretly record everybody's dance moves for some reason. I know y'all niggas got homework and shit. How does anybody have time for any of this? Not to mention, nothing even comes from this. They don't steal their moves or anything. They recorded them for no reason. This never comes up again. Are they putting this in the show? I don't think so. Good. For us. I broke up with it. The Crump team learns how to work together and they all watching the sunset now. It's very erotic. I don't like it. Nah, it's fine. You can watch the sunset with your homies, shirtless. It's no judgment, bro. Go ahead. Nice ride. The main bad guy is upset because DJ took his bitch or whatever. And so now he does a whole background check on this nigga. Then he snitches to some school committee about everything he found. You were charged with and convicted of aggravated assault in a brawl that resulted in the death of your brother. If I told you the truth about my conviction, I wouldn't be here anyway. It is the decision of this committee to suspend you for the remainder of the year. Is that right? Can you not go to college if you have a record? That sounds right. I don't know, man. Who made him enroll in the first place? Did they not know he would get kicked out for his record? Did they encourage him to lie or something? It doesn't matter though. All that is immediately resolved in the very next scene. The Dean says he'll let DJ stay if he stops dating his daughter. This movie hella cliche, bro. I was trying to be nice about it. This shit is terrible, bro. I wasn't being that nice about it. All the school shit feels like a huge afterthought too. All the backstory, they didn't give a fuck about this script, 100%. Which is weird, they dedicate so much time to it. All the dancing scenes are condensed into these quick montages most of the time. And all the generic college drama goes on forever. Like it's the main point, it's not. This movie did not need to be two hours long, y'all tripping. Do you know how different your life would be if, if you I would have married you? You are all I have left. You just lost that. Give me a chance to fix things. Megan Good convinces her father to let DJ stay. Now he's back in school and back in the crumping league just in time for the finals. And look, Keith Sweat is one of the judges for some reason. He doesn't say anything. They barely show him. It's really weird. They treat this nigga like a extra. I'm not complaining though. This shit is long enough already. Thank you. 
What are these zesty ass mailman outfits? This is the final battle. Are you serious? Why are they dressed like Confederate soldiers? Did I miss something? It's kind of similar to the outfit he was wearing in the beginning. Maybe it's just a hot look in 2007. I don't know. Let's watch some more dancing. Yeah, I think if I went to college and had some more exposure to this kind of stuff, maybe I would think it's cool, but I didn't, and it's not. I'm still confused about the finances. He got in trouble, and his punishment is a full ride at a four-year college? Who's paying for this? Seriously. Yeah, they win the big competition. You guessed it. Megan Good and everybody living happily ever after. The movie is over as soon as they win. No type of epilogues. It's fine. I wasn't really expecting much from this one, but it's still a lot worse than I expected. I would rather watch You Got Served, 100%. At least You Got Served didn't take itself so goddamn serious. They didn't have a bunch of extra storylines about a nigga uncle, a uh, principal. The music was better and You Got Served as well. I never thought I would be praising You Got Served this much. This is blowing my mind right now. Also, it is kind of lame how Chris Brown dies in the first 10 minutes. I'm sure they put this nigga in all the marketing on all the posters and shit back in the day. They tricked everybody into watching this. It's not cool. But shout out to all the dancers. The dancing is very impressive. I'm sure it takes a lot of training and discipline. I'm just not a fan of the specific style, I guess. The stomping of the yard. I much prefer the straight, pumping dance movie. They should have made a normal dance movie. Or they could have made it like a crossover with B2K. Have them come out at the end and help with the dancing, right? That's fucking stupid. <laughs> That's it though. Thanks for watching. Make sure you catch my podcast, the BBC Club podcast, pause. Also, follow me on Twitch. We watching movies together on Tubi all day. It's horrible. Please help me. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me in real life. Follow me everywhere. I'll see you next time for some more Hood Cinema reviews. I love you, no pause. All right, now. That's it. It's time to go now, so. <laughs> Let's get high like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo.